the whole world is in the power of Satan, the evil one, because he has captured the imagination. He has grabbed hold of their mind, and now he rules over them. People believe what the devil tells them, and that is why they are in bondage. Let me explain to you how this works. I once visited a safari farm, and on this safari farm there were two huge lions inside a cage. This cage was made of thin diamond mesh wire. I said to the owner, are you not worried that these lions will break out? Because if they give that fence one clout or that huge paw, they will destroy it. He laughed at me. He said they don't know that they can do that. Because I put them in that cage when they were still little. They then tried to get out, but because they couldn't, they still believe that. They cannot get out. Those lions could easily break that wire if they just tried. But because they believed that they couldn't get out, that is why they didn't try. And that is how the devil has captured the whole world. He lies to them and people believe what the devil tells them. For those who believe in Jesus Christ, nothing will be impossible. Believers say that it's impossible to stop sinning. If Jesus has made you free, then you will be free. We read in John chapter 8 verse 34, Jesus answered them, Truly, truly I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son does remain forever. So if the son has made you free, you will be free indeed. If Jesus has made you free, you will be free. If you've accepted him as your Lord and your master, then you will be free. The Apostle Paul writes in Romans chapter 6 verse 12, Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, so that you obey its lust, and do not go on presenting the members of your body to sin as instruments of unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not be master over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. The grace of God sets us free from the bondage of sin and from the lies of the devil if we obey Jesus Christ. If we do not obey Him, we remain in bondage. If you have accepted Jesus, you are free. You're not in bondage of sin anymore. You are free to go. You're like that lion. You can just take down the fence. But you've got to submit yourself to Jesus. And then the devil will flee from you. We read in James chapter 4 verse 7, Submit therefore to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be miserable, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning, and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the presence of the Lord, and He will exalt you. If you humble yourself before the Lord, and you repent, in the power of God will work through you. You will have power over Satan and you will be free. But you have to believe in Jesus. 
you have to obey Him. You have to repent and submit yourself to Him. And then you will have power to overcome Satan. Nothing will be impossible for you if you believe. We read in Matthew chapter 17 verse 19, Jesus said, Truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. If you believe in Jesus, nothing will be impossible for you. Sin will not be master over you. Fear and anxiety will not be master over you. If you believe in Jesus and submit to Him, you will tell that mountain to move and it will move because you believe. But if you don't believe and you believe Satan and his messengers and other people and what the doctor says and what the psychologist says, and what Satan's preachers say from the pulpits, you will stay in bondage because they say we are all sinners. I am not a sinner. Jesus Christ has set me free. And because he set me free, I've got power over Satan. I've got power over sin. And I say to that mountain in the name of Jesus, move. And you will move because I believe. If you believe in Jesus, you will be free. If you are a child of God, you will have authority over Satan and you will not be in bondage of sin. You will not believe his lies. But if you are in bondage, it is because you do not believe Jesus. You are captured by Satan. Believe in Jesus. Submit yourself to Him, obey Him, and you will tell that mountain to move. But you have to tell it to move. Nobody else will do it for you. Jesus will not take you out of that cage because He's told you, you are free. You are free to go. But if you don't get up and go, you will remain in bondage. You have to take those steps of faith and start walking. In the name of Jesus. You have to rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. If you have faith. Submit yourself to Jesus. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Speak to that mountain. And it will move. May Jesus bless you.